part. And I'm looking forward to see what he's able to do in the game of sevens. Yeah, definitely. Please don't remind any of us about what happened in Tunisia. And we are underway as Tunisia come up against Mauritius. Kalfi deciding to go with a little bit of a deeper restart, so it's comfortably secured by Ragu for Mauritius. Tunisia very, very quickly up in defense. And the penalty going the way of Mauritius. Change of direction from Quinton Noll as the ball goes into the hands of uh, Adrian Riverland. Tunisia working hard at the break time to try and turn over that ball, but it's still there for Mauritius. The second penalty going their way. It's going to be tough for the Mauritians. They had a tough outing against Zimbabwe earlier on. Their biggest challenge is that they just don't have enough ball retention ball retention to, to, to try and get some phases going, make any progress against the Tunisian team right here. Ragu with the take at the line out as the ball comes out for Mauritius and a strong tackle on Montuccio. Referee looked like she might go for another penalty. It's taken out now by Duaneville for Mauritius. And Tunisia's defense holding nicely for the moment. And there's Sabri Gamir stealing the ball at the breakdown. Into the hands of Mohsen Isid. Strong handoff from Isid. He bounces off another defender, gets the pass away. And it's into the hands of Osem Kalfi. And Kalfi pins his ears down and Kalfi goes over. Tunisia on the scoreboard first in this encounter. Well, mechanism, you can see the back behind the pass there. You can just see the Mauritians are putting their hands up, trying to complain that there was a bit of obstruction there, but there wasn't any at all as they attempt. That has to be one of the worst kick attempts. The crowd is right behind them. So it's Hossam Kalfi with the restart, and this time, Plenty of time for his runners to get the ball back. So it's in the hands of Kalfi again. He throws a dummy. It's a few defenders. Eventually has to get the offload away. Still available for this Tunisian side. A nice run coming from Ben Diab. And he gets the pass away to Sabri Gamir. And that's his first try of the tournament. Definitely won't be his last. Oh, yes. They're to get on the scoreboard. But this was great work by the whole team. Just offloading right at the right time. The defender went a little bit high there. Strike it better. Uh, yeah, not much better. Looks like a Kenny kick. Uh, I don't know, but I think maybe looking at sevens might be the way for them to go forward. And again, one back by Tunisia. It's Hossem Kalfi back into the hands of Gamir. He's brought to ground this time by Janovic Pax. Available for Tunisia, but the referee says holding on at, on the ground. The difficult thing for Mauritius is, is that they haven't been able to break through this Tunisian defense. Yeah, and they're playing very laterally, so it's, it's, it's easier for the defenders to get across. And again, it looks like Tunisia stolen the ball. Identified by the ref that the ball player was holding on to this team as Gamir takes it quickly. Gamir trying to do it all by himself at the moment. He gets the pass away to Hamani. And now Sabri Gamir in the scrum off position gets the pass away to Kalfi and now into the hands of Chelly. And he I think it's been difficult because a lot of the players are attached to clubs now and it's it's there's a big club and country fight all the time. And I think it affects Tunisian rugby in terms of qualification. Mauritius really without too many options, so they decide to kick the ball downfield, chasing back for it is Amami, but it's there for the Mauritius. Mauritian team, they're still on the attack and into the hands of Montecchio and he will go over and the referee I think will just have a quick word with the, with the assistant because there was a big hit on one of the Mauritius players. I don't think there was a lot of arms as the try was agreed. So the try will stand. And there was the big collision, and definitely oh. no arms used there. <laughs> Just reminds me of WWE Roman <laughs> Reigns' pile drivings to close up the score. Not in that manner. 
the kicking has left play between the two teams. Tunisia up 10 points to 5. 15's team, we're still hoping that uh, Kenya might be able to qualify for the World Cup. They're involved in the tournament uh, against the likes of Canada, Hong Kong and Germany in November. And if they win that competition, then there will be three African teams at the Rugby World Cup for the very first time. And that will be good news. And I think in that repertoire, Canada is going to bring up a big challenge for them. But uh, Kenya has brought out a lot of their seven stars. So that's going to be good. And that's the wonderful offload again. Scoring their third try. Yeah, it's Ben Deip who spotted a gap straight through the middle of the Mauritius defense. Again, there it is. The offloads are just such good timing. There it is. Him showing a lot of pace. He created the second try and now scores the, th the third. He needs to try focus and get this ball back and just try to retain the ball for a couple of seconds. I think they're rushing everything. And that's that's probably the big problem is that they rush it and, and they, they get isolated. And Tunisia contests the ball on the ground. Mauritius looking to hold on to this ball. Daneville driven backwards in the tackle. It's still available for Mauritius. Picked up by Ragu and he loses the ball forward in the contact situation. Into the hands now of Chile for Tunisia down this right-hand touchline. The fence closes him down quite quickly. Long pass coming from Ben Diab. And then kick through by Ragu. And then lost forward. So this could be a score for Mauritius. He's going to need the ball to sit up. Uh, yes, and the does. referee says yes. So Jeffrey. Pressure on the last defender. He wasn't able to regain the ball. Maringo just chipped it on. And I think he had to go shoulder to shoulder. And that's a good try, that. It's also a lazy defense from Tunisia yeah. in their own 22. Yeah. I mean, they started the first half under pressure. With the crowd right behind the local team. And that's good passing, good movement. Try get good width. Again, Tunisia not able to control the ball in the breakdown. So back it comes to Ragu, who was instrumental in scoring that previous try. Switch now to the try scorer, Jeffrey Marengo. And Tunisia have stolen it. Mauritius diving straight over, so it's the penalty that's taken by Issam Wirani, and he gets the pass away to Ben Abderrahman, and Ben Abderrahman will extend Tunisia's lead, and that perhaps the try that secures victory for the hosts. He just showed enough pace to score what could be the vital try in this game. As the Mauritian team was starting to come back, it was important that Tunisia had to score. Part of the development that we, we look into. That seemed to have gone 10 meters right on the line. It's like touches. Yeah. Back to Ragu down this left-hand side. That's been a good combination between Ragu and Marengo, the number two and the number eight for Mauritius. Oh, a strong scrum coming from Mauritius, but it's available for Tunisia. Sabri Gamir opting to step on the inside, and there's that strong handoff. And every time he gets the ball, you can just know that the crowd is expecting him to do something miraculous. And he's helped to cause this overlap on the left-hand side as the ball goes out wide. Now it's Hamani putting on the gas burners, and he's just had the one to beat and hamani will wrap up victory in style for tunisia He'll got it down under the sticks and a wonderful final few minutes by tunisia and zimbabwe who they'll be up against next with the encounter oh definitely they got the ball out wide and armani he knew he had the the speed on on the crossing defenders they all gave a good effort but Hamani was just too good as he secures really sucking defenders in the middle and make sure that the ball gets gets wide to these speedsters then the game against Zimbabwe is going to be a really a real humdinger finally it looks like Tunisia have the restart right and it's been lost forward by Jeffrey Marengo and that should be that 
That'll also be that for Mauritius on day one.